Okay, 18 footers there. I got our way north, the Monarch Pass. Uh, like I said in the last video, where we're hitching to uh, Saliba. Just walking through these aspen, we just love these aspen. Just beautiful. Quite a nice, pleasant trail to hike on through, through this area. Obviously, if you need to crank out a really big miles, you could here. The last two days, you could have, and today so far. It's a tunnel of aspen. So, if we uh, get lucky with our timing, we'll be going through the northern part of Colorado when a lot of the uh, color changes. Hold on a second. Beautiful, huh? Oh, my favorite. Yeah, we just, we just love the aspen. I think we all like them too. They sing to you. The little leaves, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Wherever we live next, we're gonna have aspen all over our place, right? Yes. We got to. We can't let ourselves down. We just love them. Yeah, real quick. I mentioned in the last video. I'll just let you stare there, Trooper. Uh, oh, I guess I can turn it. You can look at my ugly mug. Hey, I haven't done this in a while. Let's look at the ground. So, they would rather look at you than me? No, they wouldn't. That's why I'm doing it. I like to aggravate people. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, when we were in, uh, of course, you know, we went into Silverton, which wasn't a planned stop. I'd been sick for five days. I think I talked enough about that, the vomiting and all that. So, Silverton was nice. And we enjoyed it, for sure, but it wasn't a planned stop. So Lake City was, that's where all our packages were. We actually had, oh geez, was it four or five packages? Yes. Yes what? Oh, four, I'm sorry. Four or five. It was four. Four? Okay, in any case, those are large priority boxes, but one, we had one small priority box that had my insulin in it, uh, in, a vial of insulin that, I, of course, I needed. Well, for whatever reason, that package didn't make it, and, uh... Because your mom had to send it, like, after she sent her other one. Is that what it was? Yeah, because you, you weren't going to need insulin, but because... That's right, because how long we were in that last section, we chewed up, that's right. Uh... Aren't you glad I'm along to remind you of things? Absolutely. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> we'll just start calling you reminder or something. But, so... Anyhow, so that, you know, we were supposed to leave and, and uh, had everything scheduled to go. and uh, But that's no big deal. I mean, those are just things that happen to anybody on the trail. So we waited around, got, got the vial of insulin, came in. Had another wonderful day in uh, Lake City, which we love Lake City. Just really love it. And then got a ride all arranged for early the next morning uh, with a, just a sweet young lady that's uh, a vet there in the town of Lake City. Really kind to us. Everything ready to go, and then about midnight that night, I started having inclusion warnings on my pump. I've talked about this in a video, I think, coming out of West Yellowstone, heading north in Montana. Same thing. So, sugar's really high, where you, you really feel sick. So I yanked the infusion set out, I put another one in, and then you gotta wait for the process to, uh, pressure has to back up before you get a warning. So you don't really know if it's working or not. So I'm injecting with a needle, some degree to bring the sugars down uh, and wham about I don't know three in the morning or so get inclusion warning again yank the infusion set out put another one in with four infusion sets none of them they all failed so the next I was sick real sick when we woke up in the morning there was no way we could go there's no way I'd be hiking uh, it'd be dangerous for one thing to do as a diabetic and uh I only have a limited number of infusion sets, and you know, four of them, that usually lasts me a whole section. 
So I get on the phone with the company and talk at length with them, at least an hour and a half. And actually, when I was on the phone with them, the one I had in me gave me an inclusion warning, which was kind of funny. Long story short, the fifth infusion set worked. And it's still in me right now. And, and I'm leaving in there. Normally, I change them because you're supposed to change them. You know, it's really not good to leave it in until five days like this. But, but I don't want to change it because I'm scared I'll be out here and... Uh, you know, go through a whole bunch of infusions that you, know, you get down to you only have a few left, you get a little nervous. But long story short, it was that day was was a no go. You had to spend another day in town. Had to spend another. We had Darn. to endure another day in town. I mean, another. You had to eat another, another chicken order, fried steak. <laughs> order of boudin balls. Another boudin and balls and gumbo. and gumbo at the at the at that terrible place. <laughs> what was that place? Lake City Cafe. I mean. No, kidding aside, great food, great people. And I highly recommend the Lake City Cafe. I met yeah. the owner and he was super nice. Yeah, the owner was One really of the nice. Owners. But so there we are, another day gone. And you know, all because really, I don't really have this many problems, but I've just been having them. So, nothing to do about it. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Reminder is going to remind me of them for probably the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, man. But the point is, it's better. I've, I, you know, I'm gonna have to change my infusion set tonight, tomorrow morning for sure, because it'll just be empty. So I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, but we're going into town tomorrow. Right. So, but we're only gonna be. That's why we're gonna get pretty close. So if something were to go wrong, I would just uh, use needles until I got down to the pass. And I have a different, couple different kinds of insulin coming to me. Uh, in saliva that it, I can mix them and go back to a knee. But uh, anyhow, so I'll leave you with that beautiful view of the Aspen. And again, we're going to Salida to resupply. And this section here between uh, Spring Creek Pass and Monarch Pass has just been gorgeous. And oh yeah, we are uh, we are batting three for four. Three for, three for four. four. Yes. Three hikers Yes. Groups have come southbound, and we're going northbound. And we just said, "Hey, howdy, happy trails," and walk off. Like yeah, it's like we have a mission. Sometimes I'll say "Town Day" or something like that. <laughs> but <laughs> but then one cyclist, we kind of talked to him too long. And it wasn't really our fault because we, well, well, we were sitting. Yeah, and he came up and was business, talking to us. But you know, I don't regret talking to anybody. No, 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 no. It's just that we... I'm going to regret taking this long video because... <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> we'll be hurrying. Yeah, yeah. So we're three for four right now, uh, which is great. Because yesterday we talked a great to batting way, average. way too many people. But it was fun, so... And we still got, got, got our miles in. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just had to push. Okay. Say goodbye, huh? Goodbye, everyone. Willow's napping. Okay. Adios. My little sunspot. There's Trooper collecting water. And the beautiful flowers. Yeah, isn't it perfect? Just a beautiful little place here. We pushed hard to get here. Why? My feet are hurting. So we're just a handful of miles outside of uh, Monarch Pass and uh, where we'll hitch into uh, oh, Salida. Oh man, are we thirsty? It's been pretty dry. We've been lugging water, but we've been re we didn't want to just use it up because we just weren't sure where we were going to find when we got here. Isn't it beautiful? All right, I'm going to finish putting the tent up. Whoa, I hope. Yeah. So, uh, kind of getting worried as we're walking here. It's just looking so dry and it was really steep and there wasn't any campable stuff. And wham! Right here. Beautiful little place that people have used in the past, evidently. Hey, Will. Hey. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Are you hungry? This is, a, you don't like cameras. Willow doesn't like cameras. She's always been kind of like, what do you point that thing at me for? <laughs> you nut. 
chewing on a stick. Okay. <sighs> You're a good girl. So anyway, yeah, here's our campsite. Pretty cool. We're pretty tired, pretty spent. We're getting kind of worried, and you know, I was just like, okay. Where were we gonna have to slide on down to to find something or up to? A lot of times it's better to go up. But the trail's right there. So we just were walking by and saw this spot. Yeah, perfect. All right. So maybe we'll make a video in Salida or at least on the way out. All right. Everybody's having a good, uh, good evening. Hey, hey, guess what day it is? It's town day. It's town day. Salida, we're coming. Now we're like five miles, less than five miles. Look at that view. Look at that view. Purple 14 Oh, are you and Willow? kidding? Willow says, I don't care. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. So, we're heading out. We made it to yeah. the last section. It's a beautiful section of trail. Absolutely gorgeous from north of Spring Creek Pass here to uh, we're about to start dipping down from north. Okay. North. Okay. We're hiking north. Okay. <laughs> so, from... <laughs> We've been out for a little while, so we're, you know, we're a little loopy. We need some food. <laughs> Oh, we've Real been eating food. tortillas for the first time. It's been good. Oh. But yeah, so we're going to dip down from here, down in, we got like less than five miles down to the Monarch Pass, and we'll hitch into the Salida. So yeah, it's been a beautiful section of trail. Quite a bit of cyclists in here. Uh, it's a real popular area for cyclists to come from here or over to Marshall Pass. So it's just been fantastic. Hey, woohoo!